Fly Me to the Moon is a brand new original Apple film now playing in theaters, giving us a rom-com approach to the space race and the moon landing. And I'm going to be honest, this is a movie that I've kind of been looking forward to for a while since I saw that first trailer, which I didn't even know this was a thing until that trailer came out, and then it did. And then I saw, oh, Scarlett Johansson, Channing Tatum, the moon landing, 60s setting. I'm hyped for this. And, um... Uh, I, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't love it. It's definitely by no means a bad movie, but it just was nothing special. Um, I was expecting, especially with this cast, uh, with Channing Tatum and Scarlett Johansson, and you got Ray Romano in here and Woody Harrelson, um, I was expecting it to be really hilarious. Like, you know, rom-com, I thought it would be going hard on the calm part of that. Um, and I, there was a lot of moments in here that I think were supposed to be funny, uh, but they were a lot of comedy cliches, so I, I don't think I really ever laughed out loud during this film. A lot of it was just in my head, like, oh yeah, that's supposed to be funny, or like, oh yeah, that's kind of funny, or oh, that's kind of clever, but not clever enough to make me laugh out loud. Um, and then I've also been seeing a lot of commercials saying like, oh, this is the perfect date movie. I honestly wouldn't really say so, because yes, it's a rom-com, and yes, one of the central focal points of this film is the romance between Scarlett Johansson and Channing Tatum's characters, but honestly, I feel like they put more of a focus on the moon landing and the space race and all of that stuff ahead of this romance. So the romance is definitely there, and they have great chemistry, and so it's it's a great love story, but it's just not super emphasized in the film. There's not a whole lot of focus on that relationship, um, to be completely honest. Uh, but I definitely still really enjoyed all of the moon-related stuff, all the NASA space-related stuff, uh, because this film, basically Scarlett Johansson's character is a marketing professional, and uh, she gets called in to work for NASA to basically promote the moon landing, and um, then they come up with this idea to uh, stream it live, and then the government wants to film a backup copy in case the the moon landing doesn't go as planned so they're gonna fake it and, and it's this whole thing and like it's a fun story it, it's very charming it's very charismatic um but again it just wasn't super funny to me um the funniest character by far is jim rash's character anytime he's in a scene he, he steals the show um and and yeah again like i said it's a great cast it's a good story and everything, but it's just not what I was expecting and didn't exactly live up to what I thought and hoped this film would be because I love a good rom-com, but while this had elements of the rom and the com, neither one of them were super, um, they just, I just feel like it didn't really materialize to be a proper rom-com. It really put more of a focus on the moon stuff, which again was cool, but not why I was hoping there would be more of a balance between each of those elements. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think about Fly Me to the Moon? Did you have a chance to check it out in theaters? Um, yeah, this is one I would say probably you can wait and check it out on streaming because it will be on Apple TV Plus uh, sometime soon. Um... Yeah, like I said, it's by no means a bad movie. It's an all right movie. It's just nothing special. It's very, very cliche and just not very unique at all. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please drop a if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button. Let's keep you to date on everything that goes on in the movie life.